Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Venlab VM200M digital multimeter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Here we have the leads, two AA batteries, we have the meter itself. And here's the user manual. Let's take a quick look at it. So we have safety information, features, maintenance. So it has a hold feature. You press it to freeze the display, and then you can press it again to return to normal. Also has a backlight. It says push the backlight to turn the backlight on and off, and it will automatically turn off after 30 seconds. It talks about measuring here. Here's some specs. So you can pause and read through these. So this can measure DC voltage, AC voltage, DC current, resistance, HFE, so that's related to transistors. We have diode and audible continuity, and that's everything for the manual. Let's get this open. So here's the meter. Pull this open. So it looks like we need a number two screwdriver to put the batteries in. So this has a kickstand on the back, like so. So you can set it up. So this has a hard plastic on the black and a slightly soft plastic on the blue. So you can see it's black here, that's hard, and then it has this blue around it. We have some plastic here over the display, I'll pull that off. Before I turn it on, I'll get the leads out. The leads are around 32 inches, so I can plug these in. The black will go in the com, or common, and the red will go in the input. Now if you're measuring up to 10 amps in current, you'll go over here to the left. And now let's turn it on. So what should we do first? Let's look at DC volts. So I'll go to 20. So I'll measure this nine volt battery here. So we're getting 9.21 volts. So that looks good. Now this does have a backlight on it. So I can hold down the light button and we have the backlight on. So if you're working in a dark location, you can turn that on. So that looks nice. And that will turn off after 30 seconds. Let's measure some other things. Let's measure some AC. So on these probes, we can take these sheaths off and it'll make it a little bit longer. I'll get an outlet here. So I do want to say, if you don't know how to measure AC voltage safely or high voltages in general, make sure you learn how to do that before you do this. Now this outlet has a tamper feature on it, so you can't stick these probes in and get voltage. So I put a three in one adapter in here. So I'll turn this to AC 200. So you can see the difference here. The V with the straight line and dashed line is DC, and then the sine wave there is AC. So let's see if I can get that in frame here without glare, and I'll measure this outlet. Okay, so we're getting 120.4 volts, 0.5 volts. So I've got some other things I can measure here. I have a 10K resistor. So we'll go here to 20K. And here we got 9.95K. So that's within the tolerance of the resistor. So that would be a correct value. And probably one of my most used features on a meter is continuity. So this will also do diode testing, but if we touch the probes here, it tests continuity. And of course I can put the little protectors back on. And then let's test the hold too. So if I go to, let's go back to the nine volt since it's here. So I can press hold and it'll hold that value. So if you're measuring something and you can't see the meter very easy, you could hold onto the probes, press that hold button, and it will hold the value. Or if you're just not good at remembering. And then when we press it again, it will go back to zero. So that's the Venlab VM200M digital multimeter. If you're looking for a basic multimeter that's easy to use, I think this is a great option. This does AC and DC, so you could use this on home electrical wiring, appliances, has that DC, which you might use on an automobile. You can also do resistance and current, transistors, diodes. So a meter like this might be good to have in your RV, your car, your truck. So I like this has the light on it because a lot of times when I'm doing something like working on an appliance, it'll be in a dark place so I can hit that light and have a lit background. It also has that stand on it so you can have it in a position easy to see. So sometimes it might be up or sometimes you want it down, but you have that choice to go either way. But I'm always finding uses for a multimeter. I've saved a ton of money over the years being able to do my own repairs and using a multimeter has been a big part of that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.